Parkinson's disease affects thousands of people each year, which means research is critical. The Michael J. Fox Foundation is sponsoring a trial at the Institute of Neurodegenerative Disorders in New Haven in order to study people at risk for developing that disease. The Institute's Associate Clinical Research Director, Dr. David Russell, is here with us this morning to tell us more about the disease and how this new study will work. Good to see you, Doctor. Thanks Thank for coming you for on the program. Me. So tell us about what you're doing. You're looking for thousands of people to take part in this study, right? Yes, I am. And what I'm going to tell you is that probably the most important research trial going on in Parkinson's disease now is asking people who don't have Parkinson's to take a smell test at home. And I'm going to spend the next few minutes to sure. show you why that makes sense. Well, and you brought a smell test. Why don't I you did. show us uh, what the smell test is while we're talking about it? Okay. Okay. So this would be the part. We're going to invite people to contact us, and we'll give you the website and the phone number. And what we'll send is a questionnaire and a smell test like this. So it's a booklet. It's a booklet. It consists of one question per page. And you take a pencil, okay. you scratch on and scratch a sniff and smell it, and you have some options, and you choose your option. For example, this one is either chocolate, banana, onion, or fruit pu punch. Exactly. I would do this. Boy, that's tough. They uh -oh. are. Some are tough. <laughs> Maybe you need me. Some are tough and some are easy. No one, just to stress, gets wow. them all right. Oh, no, no, they don't. They are designed to be tough so that we okay. can get the whole range. And that will actually help us to move forward with the Parkinson's research. Interesting. So, so the, if somebody wants to take part, what do they do? Okay, so they'll contact like through the website or through the phone number of the study. And we will reach back out. We will send out, like I said, a questionnaire and a smell test. So this trial, this, it's called the PPMI trial. It's a Parkinson's Progression Marker Initiative. So it's a transformative study in that we've been sort of floundering in a way, trying to figure out how to treat Parkinson's. But the underlying idea is we need to know what Parkinson's is before we can really come up with an effective treatment. A number of trials that have been geared toward giving a neuroprotective treatment have failed. And we've used animal models and theories and ideas. And what we really need is to get, you know, what is the cause? Like, in a similar way as to heart disease. In the 50s and 60s, we said, what was the cause of heart disease? And have worked out things like blood pressure and cholesterol, which we had no idea were connected, were underlying problems with the disease. How does the loss of smell have anything to do with Parkinson's? Exactly. And that's, so we are now using this trial to find so-called biomarkers. Biomarkers are biological markers of the disease. So chemical changes, physical changes, things like your ability to smell. It turns out it's connected to Parkinson's disease. And so we are going out and screening a lot of people. So we have a large number of people with Parkinson's disease already in the study, and they're volunteering. They're spending five years in the trial looking for the biomarkers so we can figure out what's the cause of Parkinson's? How do we monitor? How do we know we're making it better? And now we need to reach out to people who may have the early disease, who don't even have any symptoms yet. And the way to do that is we ask people who are over 60, people with Parkinson's disease lose their sense of smell. A lot of people can lose their sense of smell, and it doesn't mean you're sure. going to get Parkinson's disease. But it might. And so if you take the smell test at home and send it in in the questionnaire, you may be invited to come to one of the centers, and the Institute for Neurodegenerative Disorders, or we call it the IND in New Haven, is one of the largest ones there is. Okay. And you'll be invited to come in and be assessed and see if you're eligible for this study and can participate. Again, it's, these are people we're looking to screen for people who may be getting Parkinson's right. later because obviously that's where we would like to stop the disease. Sure, very interesting. Again, somebody comes in with high cholesterol, you want to treat it right away so okay. they don't get the heart attack. Somebody comes in with possible Parkinson's, you'd love to treat it right away and we'd like to learn how to do that. Dr. David Russell, thanks for coming on the program. Thank we'll you very much. We'll put the information much. on our website, foxct.com, and hopefully you'll get uh, enough people for the study and maybe you can help them if they have uh, an, an issue. Thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate it, Dr. Okay. All right, still ahead for you right here on the Fox Connecticut Morning News. Shocking charges against New England Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez. What this means for the team, they've dropped him and how they're responding to his arrest. Also, summer often means kids are active outside, but how can you keep their minds active as well? We're going to have some creative tips to keep your kids busy this summer.